Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at a beautiful tool known as Effect Texture Maker. Now, this is a web-based tool that you can actually go ahead and work with and it's quite interesting the kind of things that you can create. Now, for those who would like to create effects, you want to make textures or maybe you just want to make some sprites for your next game, then this is something that you can easily go ahead and start working with. Link to this is going to be in the description just in case you want to try this out. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Right now, once you get over to the website, you would notice that, you know, the UI looks fairly simple. Now, how you can control things is as easy as this. Right here is where you get to play with the resolution, which accounts for how big this is going to be. So right here, we have this set to 512 and if we click this and go all all the way down and set this to 1k you would notice that that is even bigger so if we also select this and go all the way to 2k you notice that we have this even way bigger you can also choose to just simply you know keep this as it is and right over here is where we get the type and the type include you know the type of texture that you want to work with and also the type of effect that you want to play with now you probably wouldn't see anything happening really really well because we haven't actually started playing with the time or either animating this so right over here if i go in and start playing with the time you'll notice that we have this sort of effect and i can actually go all the way down and select something like lighting and we can also create an effect like this most of you guys will be saying all right so how do we actually make this animated and stuff like that how you can make this animated is by simply clicking on animate and automatically you would notice that this starts animating and this is just really cool i mean it's a web browser based tool that you can literally use across any platform whatsoever so you don't necessarily need to depend on one app or something else you can just pick this up and start working with it now it makes more sense because at any point in time you can dial things back and forth and you can also choose to play with the parameters so within the parameters we can play with intensity so we can drag this all the way down and bring this one all the way up and we can also play with the frequency so depending on what we would like to create you can see we're getting some very interesting looking kind of um you know effects going on right there and we can also choose to play with the width so for the width we can make this a bit too tight and we can also expand this depending on what we want and one thing to also keep in mind is depending on the texture or the effect they're working on their parameters are different so for example right now i'm opening the flower type and you notice it has things like the petals and right here we also have some very cool parameters that we can work with now if i also choose to change the type and let's say we choose something that looks like a corona all right so we can also get a different looking parameter so we can have a parameter like so and we can also have another parameter that looks like this so depending on the type that you're playing with their parameters are totally different if we also go down here where we have the tunes we can make this a tune so depending on what you want if you want to get something realistic if you want to get something that looks like a tune shading you can actually get this cool effect and think about so many possibilities that this can work and despite the fact that this is you know targeted for game artists a lot of sectors can actually take advantage of this and also get some cool stuff happening so if we go back to the type and let's say i pick something that looks like a spark all right so we get the spark and you can notice we have a little bit of spark going on there let's turn this off and let's also look at some presets so they have a lot of types going on here there is just a whole lot i don't think we will be able to cover all of them so you can take a look at this let's increase this this looks quite interesting we also have the polar conversion so we can also play with the cupola conversion get some very cool effect and we have some more stuff that includes tiling so depending on what you want as well we can get some cool tiling going there you can play with the radio mask if i turn this off you'll notice the kind of tiling that we're getting if i turn the polar conversion it sort of gives it this circular looking effect and you know this gives it that very linear looking effect circular linear and you know cool stuff so let's talk about something else that a lot of you guys would want to work with and that is the normal map so going down here you notice that we have a normal map and we can simply generate a brand new one so if we go ahead and turn on the generate button we would be able to generate normal map all right so if we turn on the generate button we'll be able to generate normal map and we can also play with the intensity of the normal map depending on you know the kind of effect that we're going for and depending on where we would like to apply this of course not a lot of people would want to get normal map on their you know effect but if you are trying to use this as some sort of decal on top of a surface or let's say you want to just have this and get that kind of uh you know normal sort of effect happening directly on the surface then this is something that you would consider 
taking a look at and also applying. So the generate function is very, very nice. And of course you can choose to make this thicker and less thicker and you can increase the height and increase the scale to get something that looks way better than just having a flat surface. That is if you want a normal map to drive what you're creating. So very mesmerizing looking sort of effect going on right here. Let's see, let's see some more stuff. Grunge, what do we get with the grunge? Looks all right, looks good. And you know, if you're not okay with the whole animation thing, you can definitely just click right here and turn that off. And let's take a look at some more. So we have the snow looking stuff. This is good. Very cool effect that you can use as well. We have the gradient noise. So with this here, if you like to do some color balancing, you can actually do that here. So this gives you that room to do some of the cool sort of um, color changes that you might want and let's see depending on what you want to create depending on the kind of effect you want to generate you can literally use this and speaking about things that you can do this is actually where the whole thing makes sense so if you want just a simple texture you know that you can work with let's say you're looking for a simple effect texture you need to click on save image and this would give you a simple image that you can save. So if I click right here, it opens a brand new tab and I can right click and save this as a simple texture, all right, as a single image. Now, if I want this to be exported as sprites, I need to click down here, go over to where I have as dimension, define the dimension of the sprite sheet that I want, define the timing that I want, and also the length. So depending on what you're looking for, you can select these things and at the end of the day, and once you're done, click on the save sprite sheet. And this creates a sprite sheet containing all of the elements and all of the specifications that you did before you hit the create sprite sheet button. And that's about it. The tool is free, it's simple, and for anyone who would like to play with this, there's gonna be a link in the description that'll take you over to the site where you can you know, literally do whatever you want. So we've covered a couple of sprite creating tools and also effect creating tools. And for me, I think a tool set like this that is just based off the web is actually very efficient for a lot of people that would like to make things like pixel art, or maybe you just want to create a sprite that you can use in Unity, Unreal Engine, or any other tool that you're creating your games or creating stuff with. It's animatable, and at the same time, if you're just looking for textures, this can get you up to speed with whatever that you want. And one thing for me that is more of a downside currently is after the last update, sometime about last year, last two years, there is no update to this currently. The tool is still out there for anyone who wants to use and for sure I like the fact that it is platform independent. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and tell me what other sprite tools that you like me to try out and for sure if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until I see you guys again with a tutorial update free Friday tutorial Tuesday Tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.